Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you had a good weekend. This morning as I was spending time with our beautiful Lord Jesus and just asking him if he had a word for someone and the Lord just put this word on my heart and he said, it is not about being perfect but about knowing and following truth. And as I pressed in, he gave me the revelation of what he meant by that. And I believe it might actually be a key or a word of truth to unlock someone's heart for them to better understand how to walk with the Lord in these times we are living in. So I will share with you basically the unpacking of this word. And so in order for us to better understand this word, you first need to understand a few definitions about what is the definition of perfect. Perfect, according to the dictionary, means having all desirable elements, qualities or characteristics as good as it is possible to be. Definition of knowing, showing that one has knowledge or awareness that is secret or known to only a few people. Definition of following, coming after or as a result of. The definition of truth we find in John 14, verse 6, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. So when we look at these definitions, basically we see that perfection speaks of something that is complete, something that is unblemished or perfect in form, basically finished. So nothing can be added to it because it's already perfect. Knowing and following points to a continuous process. So as you walk with God, your knowledge and awareness of Him in your everyday moments will increase. So God constantly reveals truth to us about ourselves, about Himself, and also about the world around us. And sometimes that truth is convenient and sometimes it is inconvenient. Sometimes that truth brings grief through conviction and correction and other times it brings joy and excitement as the truth sets us free. So your degree of pressing in and seeking after God will determine the depth of your knowledge and awareness of Him. Truth is always revealed and accessible. What you do with the truth you receive determines your following after Him. So if you receive truth but do not put it into practice, it goes nowhere and it brings no change in your world. When you take the truth that has been revealed and you put it into practice, it brings about a perspective change which enables you to keep following. So knowing and following points to a process of constant revealing and action, meaning it is not a stationary point in time of perfection. Knowing and following of the truth will lead to eternal perfection in eternity, but not while well on this earth. So that is why we keep pressing in for more knowledge, awareness, and truth that God will reveal to us. Knowing God and following after Him and His truth requires a lifestyle of repentance. If you are still at the same spiritual level you were a year ago, there is a lack of recognition of knowing and following truth. Knowing and following truth changes your perspective, which in turn changes the way you operate and do life. And it all points to Jesus who is the truth, the way, and the life, becoming more like Him. Without repentance and putting truth into practice, you will remain at the same spiritual and relational level with God. Keep pressing in and seeking after God. Accept truth from His mouth, whether pleasant or unpleasant. Put action in the direction of that truth through repentance. Watch your perspective shift regarding what you know to be true. See, change your life in accordance with God's word, as the kingdom of God is not merely of talk but of power. You determine your closeness and awareness of God. He's showing you the way to get there. The choice is yours. Not wanting to accept the truth because it is inconvenient will leave you stuck spiritually. It is time to break free, mature and grow. So my beautiful God, Lord, I thank you so much that you are always after setting us free. Lord, I pray for my brother and sister who have often found your truth to be inconvenient or your truth to not fit their lifestyle, and they've often stayed at the same spiritual level with you. God, they often cry out that they, they don't receive experiences from you or they don't hear from you. 
but they don't actually put into practice the truth you have revealed to them because it's easier for them to continue in the flesh rather than to deny themselves to pick up the cross and follow you because it costs us something to keep being your disciple and following you. So I pray, Father, that you give them that revelation in the name of Jesus for needing to live a life of repentance because that is what it means to love you and follow you as we obey your commands and become more and more like you. Help them, Lord, to really set aside what they think is convenient and help them to understand that even though temporarily some truths you may reveal to them might be inconvenient in crucifying their flesh, that it has lasting fruit and benefits for them in eternity. In Jesus' most holy and powerful name. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. God bless you.